So I've been reading online recently and I've found some people with the Xbox Series S and Series X saying that the Xbox app on PC no longer lets you stream your consoles. So I found a way around this and I'm just going to quickly show you guys how to how to go through the process and get it all set up. And it also works for XCard as well, which is really, really good for now. So the first thing you want to do is you want to open up a browser and go to this link, which will be in the description. It's just to the Microsoft.com website, the Microsoft Store. And it will take you to this Xbox Game Streaming Test app. And it will say it's currently not available. Now, if you go to this link and it says um, it says that you can just install it, then go ahead and do that. And don't worry about these, these next few steps. But at the time of recording this, there is, you cannot install it through the store normally. So we, we're going to have to do this extra step to get around this. So now what you want to do is just copy this link. And now we're going to open up a new tab and go to this website here, store.rg-adgar.net. This will also be in the description linked for you guys. So now you just paste in the link down here, paste this plain text, hit the little checkbox. And if we scroll down, once it's loaded, it should only take a second down here. And we're going to click on the third one from the bottom, the AppX bundle number 1211310. Now, I don't know if any of these other ones work or if they're newer or what, but I've only tried this one here and this one seems to be the perfect one. So just click that. We'll start uh, downloading, hit keep as well. It might not let you download it in Chrome normally. And this is just a Microsoft uh, app file. So I just let that download. And while it's doing that, what you want to do is open up your start menu, hit the settings button, go to, well, we're just going to search for developer here, developer settings. And all we have to do is check this box. Yes, that's it. And then we can turn this off when we're done. No issues. So I'm just going to let this download for a minute and I'll be back when it's done. All right, so it's just finished. So what you can do is uh, show in folder. And if we right click this and go to properties, you'll actually see in digital signatures that this is made by Microsoft. So there's nothing to worry about here. It, it's signed by Microsoft. It's, it's completely safe to install. So if we just go and double click this right here, it will say, well, for me, I've already installed it. So it says reinstall, but what we just do is hit install. So hit install. It will install super quick, then you go launch, and there we go. There's the Xbox console streaming app. So we can close out everything in the background. And look, there's my Xbox. And if you had a XCloud with a Game Pass Ultimate subscription, that would also be in here. But unfortunately, where I am now, we don't have access to it just yet. And as you can see, it, it is supported in this app. So if I click on my console here, uh, go ahead and continue. Yep, Wi-Fi network. And as you can see, it's pretty much just like the mobile app on Android. So it just takes a minute to connect. It's not too bad, but I'll just cut ahead now just to, just to save you some time. And there we go. It's just come up with the Xbox One that I own. And the beauty of this one as well is that it actually has on-screen controls. So I feel like that will eventually be added to the mobile app. So you don't actually need a controller for everything. But this is super cool. Being able to just hit the buttons on the screen, use those to control. Uh, your little Xbox button is up here as well. If you want to open that menu, you can go down and click on stuff very easily. The quality is pretty good too. Uh, another thing you can do is you can go to the developer section, uh, turn on the statistics, and you can see the, uh, the network information if you want to. There's also a way to unmute your microphone. And if you do that, you can actually use party chat and game chat right from your PC mic. You don't even, have, don't even have to touch your Xbox at all. And one thing you'll notice as well is that your Xbox, uh, the light on it will actually be off. So it, it is really cool the way this works. It, it, it's basically like the mobile app. And uh, eventually I imagine they're going to add it into the official Xbox app. So hopefully when that day comes, we won't need to do this whole method. But yeah, for now, this is what works. And I want to thank you all very much for watching. Hopefully this helped you out. And please like and subscribe. And yeah, hope to see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.